a basketball shooting contest or something. Right? No, that's unfair. Yeah, you'll yeah. Smack, you'll no, it'd be fine. A lot of people say, oh, I want to do YouTube, but then they're not vlogging or they're not videoing yeah. things. I think you need to be doing that. So this is just a gym and we're freaking out. <laughs> No, you can't come. Yeah, no. I wish you could. Bro, look. Hello. Bro, look, I packed like we're going on like a two-week trip. Yeah, same. I have two like packed Boy, bags. I don't know what I'm gonna wear when I meet David. I brought like every pair of clothes that I own. Are you serious? I was about to. I really did. And now I'm scared I didn't bring enough. Um, well, I don't own that much clothes. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I brought, my, all, I brought my two shirts and my two shorts. Oh, God. What have we done? What? No parking. Dude. <clears throat> hey. Hey, 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 hey. He's probably, we're probably gonna say that and he's gonna be like, gonna be you know like, how many times I've heard he's that? He's like, today? if someone says, hey, one more time, and he like leaves before we get to talk to him. Bro, Lex walks up to us, he says hi, we just walk away. <laughs> I hope he never sees that. So I love Houston. We're here at the pop up shop. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is my shoes now. Dude, new energy drinks. For Loco. <laughs> I did it. I acquired the $3 protein water. $3? $3. Dude, it's like, now that we're like having to pay on it for our own stuff, it's like, ah, oh, $3. But it's like, back in the day, $3, $3. What? $4.19 for a bang? Where? I'm about to oh God. So here we have a 800 calorie $5 burrito. <laughs> So basically, me and Kenny booked like this really cheap hotel room. Like, so we didn't really want to spend a lot of money. Like, we we're literally just sleeping and leaving. I already ordered. Like, I already yeah. confirmed the order, and it's like non-refundable. Even though literally two minutes ago was when I confirmed it. So I called him and said I accidentally confirmed it. He's trying. This guy's trying to help me. Awesome. Clout moves only, bro. We've, we, we've made it. Travis is about to have an aneurysm in his back if we didn't get out of the car. Dude, drive. We are in hotel. the sub-arctic base <laughs> known as go? this hotel's parking. You keep going that way. Dude, this is terrifying. With my little M50 and Travis just pulled out a literal bazooka. We've successfully broken into Area 51. Um, we're a little late to the party, but as you can see, I've gotten some steroids. What is that? BS. Big steroids. Holding this camera. Dude, I'm getting so many gains from holding this giant yeah, camera. And uh... I never thought I'd see the day. Bye. Oh man, we don't get to share a bed. Dude, this is way better than we were gonna say. Yeah, we were about to stay in the slums. This ain't no cheap $45 hotel. It's a $145 hotel. Oh. All right, bro. <laughs> That's it. Well, the hotel is fun and all, but it is actually leg day. So we kind of have to get going, isn't that right? Yeah. Dude, the shreds look crazy. <laughs> Let's 
stop kicking those damn cones. It looks cool down here. You know what else looks cool down here? My mom! So while we were originally planning to just go to one of the nearby gyms, we've had a change of heart. We're going to the gym that I see every day on YouTube on multiple of the people I'm big fans of channels. Alpha Elite Gym. I'm not saying like I'm gonna go off program, but I'm gonna go off program. Huh, don't tell David. I wanna get the Southwest avocado salad. Tastes like ass. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel, dude. This wall looks so familiar. These these loading areas. I've seen these a million times on a little screen, but I'm genuinely like, bro, this is like, it's so surreal. Like, I just know how to feel. This is crazy. Oh, oh why'd you do the car off? That means we have to go in. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bro, this is not one thing over here is in English. Like, okay, dude, when we came here, I, I thought it was just like Chinese restaurants or whatever, but like, this is like the real deal. Excellent. Okay, dude, the humidity, it's literally glowing like a lightsaber. Look, he's here. Oh my god, dude, we could die so easy. And I we did it, boys. We found Bay. <laughs> Where are the anime women? Where are they? I am so tired. I don't know how he's vlogging right now because his brain could not handle driving. I don't need ketchup, but I had to go. Please, some off. Oh my gosh. Honestly, dude, it was pretty cool. I wasn't like super like nervous. I I kind of didn't know what to like say at first, so I like talked about like the program and stuff. But it was pretty cool. Kenny got like a super dope thumbnail. Like, it was pretty cool.
It's pretty cool. Like, yeah, he literally, no, like I just walked up and he just decked yeah. me in the face. I was like, David, I need like the most anabolic picture with you. And he was like, okay, I'll take a little step back. You take a little step forward. And I was like, <laughs> I feel like a basketball shooting contest or something. No, like, that's unfair. Dude, you'll, you'll smack, you'll have you guys seen the play ball? Pops the ball? No, no you'll, you'll smack, smack me. He had a game winning shot in basketball when we played together. I did. That was my only shot I ever made, though. So Okay, so like one thing that I've noticed, like talking to all the guys, is like, I don't know, I feel like they'd be super fake and everything, but like, they're like genuine, like down to earth people. They're like normal people, like me and Kenny. So like, it was just super cool, like getting to talk to them. And we talked to everyone for like quite a while. Like they actually enjoyed talking to their fans. Like David's on three hours of sleep. Lex is probably on about two seconds of sleep. James seems good to go. He's just a machine. And like Face Sensei, one of the coolest guys I've talked to. And Dylan, like, I don't know. It was just cool talking to them. Cause they're just like us. James was like, this is the best shirt. He was like, I even have this one, but it ripped. And I was like, dude, you should've just been like, I should've been like, you know what, here. You know what? Here you go. Dude, where's Ben Francis? I know, we, I we really want to meet Ben. Bro, dude, Ben Francis, mine just come out. Bro. No, bro, Ben. Ben Francis is about to come out. Ben Francis. No Because oh. <laughs> um, I'm fine. A lot of people say, oh, I want to do YouTube, but then they're not vlogging or they're not videoing yeah. things. I think you need to be doing that. So I massively yeah. respect. I've gotten to the point where I'm like past the like being scared of whipping it out in public and stuff. Yeah. And just people yeah. just think like, stressful, just like running all this. I've been doing it for seven years now. It's like it's all I've yeah. ever really known. So I'm really enjoying it. So I have a question. So when y'all are like picking out a gym shark athlete, like what are the requirements that y'all look? For? So we want people that are inspiring people uh, to, I guess, better themselves physically and mentally. We're not too fussed about followers. A lot of people think you need to have a certain amount of followers. It's not like that. There's a bunch of people that we sponsored and that have joined the team without having a massive following. For us, it's all about, are you inspiring people? Are you putting a positive message out? Um, do your sort of values align with the Gymshark values? And then we've got a team of people that are constantly looking to add to the team. I'm really into making like fitness YouTube and content, like Instagram and all that, but we've noticed like, Almost everyone's fitness vlogs are like the same. Everyone's pictures are the same. It's like they're copying David or it's just the worst like in a sense. I wanna like differentiate the content like from an entertainment standpoint, like yeah, it's about yeah. fitness and health, but like all kinds of other aspects, whether it be like you want to inject your personality into yeah, your mind. definitely. Because it feels saturated, but there's gonna be a yeah. ton of opportunity there. And I think you need to balance that with being true to yourself yeah. with also understanding that there is opportunity out there. So don't just completely switch your personality yeah. to try and plug a gap in the market. Yeah. yeah. So we went to Alpha Lee yesterday and we were just like blown by like, whoa, we see this on YouTube, it's real. Yeah. And then all of a sudden <laughs> Uh, we see Dylan, Lex, David, and James all them walk and we in, like, and we're just like crazy. And we yeah. just like realize, like, okay, like these goals that we have, like that they've achieved, it's definitely possible. Like they're real. It's not just through a screen. And it's like all these things that you see, like maybe the gym shout stuff or what Alpha are doing. No different to what you're doing. It's just these guys are vlogging it. They're putting it on YouTube on the internet. And it's no different. It's all legit. It's all people just like yourself that worked incredibly hard to get to where they want to be. Yeah, it's cool. awesome. Do you want to take a picture? Yes, let's do it. Dude, that was like such a crazy experience. We gotta cop some gym shit. Dude, we're about to get our clout up with these clothes. Get off my man. So no head? If you go to the second stage, you I wanted you to be the reason to close my eyes. Alright, currently, literally, quite literally dying. We haven't had a bite to eat or a sip of water, and it is one. My body is depleted and just dry and begging for water and Dude. glycogen and it's just <laughs> so hopefully I put this stuff in it it's just gonna fill up because we have a push workout yeah. at Alpha Lee oh. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> my stomach's so empty I felt the water like go down <gasps> we We've been looking at this sign and we most definitely have been questioning like, oh, is that a real sign? Can we not park there? And I had to Google it and then I realized it says toad, T-O-A-D, not T-O-W-E-D. And I, in conclusion, I'm big dummy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I uh, guess this is as good as a place as any. So first off, anyone that made it this far in the video, I just want to give the most sincere, the biggest thank you. It means more to me than any of my past videos. And it's not just because, you know, more watch time helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It helps YouTube know to recommend my videos more. Watch time is really important on YouTube. It's just that this video, this vlog, mega vlog thing, whatever you want to call it, has meant more to me than any of them so far. And that's because through this trip and through these experiences that me and Travis had, we realized that these dreams that were in the back of our mind, that were never truly our plan A's, that we really made our plan B's of going to school, getting a safe job, you know, we made those our plan A. It made us realize that these goals that we have with YouTube, social media, creating things, fitness, health, all that is possible. And yeah, I know that's cliche and a lot of people like, oh yeah, anything's possible, but this is one of the things where like we both really needed to just see it to believe it. Like just talking to Lex at the pop, he was talking about how he was surprised that like he, even though he doesn't have millions of followers or anything, they invited him to go. And like everyone knew him still. This kid's just a senior in high school and he has made it to like a place that me and Travis really, really want to get to. Showing up to Alpha Elite, you can see in the video, we were, me and Travis were just so starstruck, but it was truly when we saw David, Dylan, Lex, James, all these people come in that it just clicked in our minds that like, these are real people. These people we've been watching for years, their stories, their everything, their transformations are very much real. And these dreams that me and Travis have that we want to do, it's very much real too. And we had this epiphany that we have to make this a priority. We have to make these things our plan A. We can't just put it on the back burner. It's so easy in our small town to just get caught up in going to work, going to class, just doing these basic boring life things. And I'm not gonna knock people that go to school, but when your passion lies somewhere else, like there's no reason to not go for it. Like ever since I was a little kid, I loved making videos. I made Minecraft montages for Pete's sake. I remember having an iPod touch and I would make little action like gun movies with my little brother. I had a gaming channel that I got to like 500 subscribers and it's now Kenny's Fit that's getting close to 700 subscribers. And so basically in this next year, I just, want to put everything into this. I've realized that I don't want to go to school for six years and become a physical therapist. Yes, I wanted to do that because I like health and fitness and I want to make a lot of money, but that's not where I, my passion lies. I have my fun holding that camera, going to the gym with my friends, having fun with my friends, editing videos, coming up with these creative video ideas, a lot of which have not even been made yet. I want this Houston video, this mega vlog to be the start of a whole new chapter, not just on my channel, my Instagram, fitness, but my entire life. And I know that Travis is feeling the same way. We've gotten this new sense of desperation, of hungriness for these goals that we want. Like we wanna be Gymshark athletes. We wanna get hundreds of thousands of views and subscribers. We wanna create these original content, these ideas that have not been explored yet for the internet. And the only thing that's been holding us back is ourselves. We've been lazy, we've been holding back. We've been putting other things as much more priority, things we don't care about as much, things we hate as priorities before the things we love, fitness, creation, social media, everything. And it's been a few weeks back and I can sense like school and my job and all these things trying to take over my life, but I still have that separation, that new mindset that I've gotten since Houston. So in my opinion, I feel like this video is my best video yet. So I really, from the bottom of my heart, anyone that made it this far in the video, Thank you. But guys, 74% of my watch time on my videos come from people who aren't subscribed. So I really, like, I know everyone does this, but I sincerely am asking you to just consider subscribing. If I upload videos in the future that you don't like, you can always unsubscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, which you made it this far, like, I really hope you did, please just drop a like. If I've ever wanted a video to get the views, to get the feedback, it's this one. This is very important to me. But um, that's really about it, guys. I just need to keep approaching life with this new mindset, this mindset of going for things, making bold decisions. And if mistakes come my way, just learn and keep pushing, keep making these bold decisions because I, I desperately do not want to get caught down the way I was before. I feel like big things are coming for me, big things are coming for Travis and hopefully all my other friends and supporters around me. But um, that's really it, guys. Uh, again, if somehow you made this this far, because the average watch time on my videos is like two minutes. So if you really made it this far, thank you so much. Like my recent video is getting close to 200 views and that is insane for me. I haven't had views like that in so long, back since I was a gaming channel. But um, yeah, I've probably said thank you a million times you guys understand uh, I just want you to know that this new chapter in my life is coming and yeah so peace